Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a bit of an experiment. I watch this lady online. She goes by the name of Aunt Clara. She lives in South Africa and she does a lot of experiments to save like water discounting and stuff. And last night I was watching her do a like um, she waited for the soap to get to that right stage so it was like clay, like a, a plasticine sort of consistency and then she used one of the, what's that thing called again? A uh, rolling pin, yeah. Um, she used a rolling pin and then flattened it out and made really nice patterns with it so that's what I'm going to do today. I'll put her um, blog post um, thing in the comment box below so make sure you check her out. And these are the fluoro colours that I'm going to use. I've split the batch into three equal parts and that's what I'll use to uh, make the seizing like, um, parts. I'm going to use a fragrance oil that is going to work in my behalf today and it'll seize really quickly and I'll be able to handle the soap, you know, within a couple of minutes. Make, just make sure you wear gloves and eye protection and stuff because it'd still be quite um, caustic. So yeah, um, I think I've covered everything, so I'll just measure a little bit of this um, fragrance oil out, it's passion fruit, I won't give the name of the supplier because um, yeah, I just don't want to do that. I did win a, like a competition thing, I was one of the lucky people that got chosen to be in a calendar and I made a video about it and then when I was looking at the calendar later on that night, I saw the copyright stuff and everything, so I quickly took it down. So I apologise for that, but um, I will show the pictures of my work in the calendar at the end of this video. Yes, that was really surprising. I got the calendar for free, and I think it's if you order $250 worth of goods from sage.com, you get the calendar for free. But if you just want to buy the calendar and it's beautiful, it's got like lots of pictures of soap in it and on each um, other page it's got lots of note areas where you can put recipes and, you know, uh, make notes and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll measure a little bit of this out and then um, go ahead and make the first seizing um, piece of soap. That, that is quite a, um, a very sickly sort of uh, scent, but it's passion fruit, but once it's in the soap and it's saponified, it comes through a lot lighter. So it, it, it is nice, but um, you know, I don't use it that often because it does seize. You watch. You watch it seize. So I'll still need a smaller jar. I'm going to have to pour it into here more or less straight away. As soon as I mix that through. Well, I'm going to have to wait for it to start setting up a little bit. There it goes. Oh, damn. Yeah, get straight, get straight.
all of this spray vanilla. Now this time I'm just going to give it a quick mix. Now I'll pour it in. already starting to set up. I can't move that now. <laughs> you imagine trying to do a nice swirl or something with that? No. So I'll go and wash this up and then come back and do the orange one. But I'll unmold it this time straight onto the board. Oh doesn't really matter because I'm going to um, roll it, you know. up again. Okay, now we'll, I'll unmold this one. And now I'll put these ones like so. hot 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 not going to be quite as much but it doesn't matter yeah I hope this works now I can push that down because it's still quite you know play-doh consistency plasticine whatever you want to call it and then I will move this stuff out of the way It won't stick. Oh no, it's not going to work. Oh no. Well, the RG was there. I think I'd be better off to do it with my hand.
gonna be a big mess, I think. Oh, that's hot, hot, hot. I mean, if you waited and you weren't so impatient like I was, I might try rolling that like sushi. So now I might just do an in the pot swirl with this. It might not even work. So I'll pour a little bit into the mould now. And then I'll put the log in. Not very round. So I might just play with that a bit more. <laughs> Try and get it a bit round, you know. Whoa, nearly got a break. No, no, no. Okay, hang on. And then this I'll pour over the top. I've got enough to cover the top of that. 
So I'll just wait a little bit for it to set up a little bit um, more and then, um, yeah, I'll do the rest and then go put it in the oven and then we'll come back later this afternoon and cut it. Okay, so um, I'm back and the soap's nice and hard. I would have made this soap at about 11 a.m. this morning and it's now just past 6 p.m. So what's that, about seven hours later and it's ready to unmold because I heavily discount my water and I used a seasoning fragrance oil but I can still make soap and unmold it the same day because of my water discount. But anyway, I'll unmold this and um, yeah, we'll see what it's like. It's be interesting. Okay, I'll unmold it now. I put this one in the oven and then in the uh, fridge for a little while, just to help it um, set up that bit quicker. I got those silicon mat things from like the two dollar shop there uh, you know I bought them because you can stick them practically on anything and then st stick your phone or your keys or anything like that to them they were really sticky when I got them and I got like two packets and each packet had six in them six little square things You know, they're supposed to be good to um, cut out and I saw it on another beauty blog thing that I watch and they're supposed to be good, like you cut it out the shape of your eye and you can like wear it, wear it to bed and it's supposed to flatten out the wrinkles and stuff. <laughs> Hasn't really worked. I, I did it for a while and then, no, I stopped. Okay, so we'll cut it. Ooh. Oh, it's not really centered. My circle. I hope I get one that's nice and centered and then I can take a picture of that. I should have taken more time and centered it a bit better. One more. Oh, what was that? Oh, that turned out alright. Huh? Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.